Now, for those of us in midlife, you know, it's interesting. I had a comment come in on um, uh, my group page the other day. And if you're not familiar, I have a group called Midlife Love Mastery. There's a link below this, uh, to join the group. This is a group where you can have direct access to me on a regular basis. But we were talking about, you know, the challenge of getting a second date, the challenge of wanting a second date with someone and the challenge of getting a second date with someone. Isn't it fascinating? You know, we, we all believe that this should just be so simple. Just mating should be so ridiculously simple. Well, I want you to think back hundreds, if not thousands of years ago, it was simple. When we lived in tribes and there was 150 people, and let's just say there were 50 people of a certain age that were, um, you know, usually the younger demographic that were suitable for one another, half men, half women. That's it. That's how you, That's all you had to choose from. And it was right in front of you. Now everybody to choose from is behind a screen, is behind a screen. Isn't it fascinating? Everybody we choose from, most everyone we meet today is behind a screen. We don't know who they are. And so it makes it very challenging to decide whom we should date. In fact, I did a post on Instagram today and I want to read it with everyone. Some people seek a serious committed relationship and others say they want a serious one but cannot commit for various reasons, kind of like what I just talked about. For those who seek a serious relationship, it takes almost being a detective to pick up on the subtle clues, aka red flags, most humans give off in their capacity or willingness to partake in a serious relationship. Most people miss these clues because lust, limerence, or chemistry was, des was designed to bond us on a cellular level, but it doesn't mean they, they suit us on a relationship level. While this attachment was meant to help us procreate the species, relationships today require a different approach before attraction and romance, and that is vetting. Asking a few critical questions before jumping, into, jumping in on the romance bandwagon puts the odds in one's favor when choosing someone aligned with a person's values, visions, lifestyle, emotional maturity, and relationship skills. Sadly speaking, most humans are afraid to go deep because there's, there's a lot of jackass advice to discourage interviewing someone. And I say bunk, interrogate people is my motto. Who here agrees? And the meme that goes with it, if you want to see it, it says attraction and romance-based dating keep individuals in the honeymoon phase, which bypasses the vetting stage. By the way, there's a link right here to schedule a discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. My whole coaching practice is designed to address the vetting, to address the vetting. Vetting mean ask better questions before you go on a date. So if you apply, my approach by before you ever go on a date with someone, you ask those critically important questions. There's basically one thing you need to address on the first date. And that is what I'm about to share with you right now. And that is being safe, safe, S-A-F-E, S-A-F-E. This is what I want you to identify before even considering. This is after a first date to consider a second date. And what the SAFE stands for, the S is, do you have a spark with this person? Do you have a spark? It's not just about attraction, okay? It's do you feel something, like, uh, let me just say this, you could be with the most beautiful man or woman in the room and feel no spark, and you could be with a person that probably isn't your type and you can feel a tremendous amount of spark. If you feel spark, it's worth a second date. The A stands for all right. All right. Do you feel comfortable? Do you feel open? Do you feel receptive? Do you feel all right being with this person? That's a great sign. If you're feeling comfortable, if you're feeling open, if you're feeling receptive, hence the word safe, you feel safe. If you feel all right, then it's worth maybe considering a second date with a person. The F stands for fun. 
Are the two of you enjoying yourselves? Are you enjoying yourselves? And the E stands for enthusiasm. Can you say yes to a second date with a bit of enthusiasm? I'm here to say you should feel like you really want to see this person. Do you feel safe? A spark, all right, fun, and enthusiasm. If you're feeling those, then it's probably worth giving this person a chance. However, as I said prior to this, do your vetting a bit of those critically important questions before you go on the date so you can then see if it makes sense to move forward with this person. Because then, is this making sense? Is this resonating with you? Please let me know. If it is, please hit that like button. <laughs> please uh, share this video with your friends, okay? And please post a comment as well if this is resonating with you.